All right, guys. Hi. <laughs> um, I probably sound really nasally. I am sick. I am getting over being sick is what I like to say because, yes, I'm still under the weather, but I'm past the really bad part of the sickness. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> this video, I'm just going to tell you it's two different days. Um, I think what happened was <laughs> that where the clothes change happens is where I started to decorate for Easter and then I changed, sorry, I changed my mind and wanted to rearrange the whole living room, which I, n I did not film that, so in future videos you'll probably <laughs> notice that the living room has been changed. I'm hoping I will, because I did a TikTok of the before we changed the living room, or maybe during the middle of changing the living room, I don't remember, and then I was going to finish it with the reveal of the changed living room, so I still can finish that, so maybe I'll get that posted, and if you guys are following me, on TikTok where I post mindless videos then um, maybe you'll see the living room there before you see it here who knows but anyway um, <sighs> all that to say <laughs> that um, this is two different days I know it's probably the very next day um, if not the day after, they're pretty close together. I know that because they're, they were in the same folder. If they were like dates further apart than a day or so, they would have been put in separate folders. So that tells me they're probably like back to back days or something along those lines. But anyway, <laughs> this first part, we are basically just dusting um, the house, and I was getting ready to vacuum, um, when I went off on a rant, which you'll see the rant soon, and then it goes into the next day, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah, just being sick is horrible. I have not felt this bad in forever. No, I, I don't think it's covid um, I couldn't tell you for sure because I don't have any at-home tests, but I've had COVID before and I didn't feel this way. Um, it feels like a really, really bad sinus infection because of all the pressure buildup in my skull and my ears. Um, and I've had that before, but it's been a really long time since I've had a really bad sinus infection. And I think because I've had sinus surgery, so I haven't really had a sinus infection since I've had my sinus surgery. Um, and so it kind of, um, it kind of makes me think that my sinuses that I've had sucked out are once again clogged. I don't know, maybe next time I see my doctor, I'll see if he can refer me to an ENT, but we see how great referrals are with my new doctor because I am still waiting to hear from the pain management doctor, um, the third pain management doctor that they have referred me to because the first two did not accept my insurance. So yeah, <laughs> we will see. I'm and I'm still waiting to hear back from the dermatologist as well that he referred me to. So we see how well referrals go with this company. I honestly am thinking about just saying F it and paying a freaking copay to see an actual, I don't want to say an actual doctor, but the facility we go through is the one our insurance recommends. And it, Everything is basically covered under the insurance to them. No copay. We don't pay for labs and stuff like that. So that's the only reason I use them. That's the only reason I drive almost two hours to go see them. Um, it makes it kind of inconvenient for like 
when I'm sick because I have not went to the doctor because for one, I don't feel comfortable driving while I'm sick and I can't just ask my husband to take off work to drive me to the doctor. Obviously, if I wasn't getting better, I would go to the doctor. But since I'm, I feel like I'm over the worst of it, you know, I'm out of bed, I'm actually working on the computer, um, I feel like, you can probably hear the dog drinking in the background, and I'm sorry, but I feel like since I'm, I feel like I'm on the mend, I don't need to go to the doctor, so, but if I take a turn for the worst, I will definitely figure out how to get to the doctor, but anyway, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> I'm having a hard time talking and breathing, but we're going to get through this, and I do apologize. We might have to throw a song in um, after the rant, <laughs> just so I can take a break from talking, um, but I'm trying to remember where the rant is. I think, uh, okay. So, I still need to talk to you guys for one more minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> um, I love talking to you guys. I really do. It's just <laughs> I'm really hard to breathe right now. And I know I could just take the time off because I am ahead on videos. But I want to stay ahead on videos. And this will just make it easier if I even work while I'm not feeling a hundred percent so that being said <laughs> um I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna jump off you're gonna hear my little rant and then um we'll listen to a song and then I'll be back that stupid table that sofa table over there that white one because I barely even touched the internet box and now all of a sudden it's saying I don't have internet so I'm hot also you can't tell by me putting my hair up so I am um, a little bit frustrated of course you know like most animals they feel like they have to drink or eat when <sighs> it's fine he's he's a little bit peeved at me because I still haven't put his bed down I'm about to vacuum but my music is on TV because I can't listen to it and record from the phone. And I honestly don't remember how my husband did it with Alexa, so. Um, here's hoping I reset the box. So here's hoping that the internet comes back because I don't like cleaning without music. It's, I'm frustrated. And I may very well have to just take a break and have lunch. I don't know. And maybe the internet just went out. I don't know. It's done this before without me touching the stupid box. But it's just weird that it happened right after I cleaned where the box is. And I didn't spray anywhere near the box. So I know it didn't get wet. And... It's red. I don't know. I don't know. So come with. I'm gonna unplug it and I'll be back. So I walked over there to reset it and 
it went from red to white as soon as I got over there. So, <sighs> frustration. Um. <laughs> kind of off in La La Land. I almost forgot that I had to finish a voiceover here. Um, so yeah, we're, we're back to, to doing laundry. <laughs> um, I thought about, um, changing the laundry room up some, but I don't know. I might just let it be how it is until we move and not really worry about it, you know, because this is not our forever home, so um, I don't want to make my husband do too much work that is not for, like, our forever home, you know what I mean? So, anyway, sorry if I sniff. I know that's kind of probably gross sounding. I don't mean to do it. I'm trying to stop myself. Um, now I'm just kind of cleaning off the table as you guys can see and um I really don't remember what I was talking about I was going off about something and 
Oh, I'm talking about my book that I was going to read after I read Spare, but that I that's actually still sitting in my travel bag um, because my husband bought me a Kindle and I've been reading my Kindle instead. Um, I figured I would have that book as a, a backup option unless it's free on Kindle and then I'll probably just see if my niece wants it. Um, I am probably going to honestly be getting rid of all my books. Mm -hmm. Don't hold me to that because some of them I'm a little bit attached to. <laughs> so, um, we'll see. We'll see. I got rid of a ton of books before we moved to Florida. So, I used to have over a hundred books and now I think I'm down to, actually I probably had over two or three hundred books at one point. But now I'm down to maybe 30, 50. So progress was made. A lot of progress. Same with DVDs. I had um, 400 and something at one point. And I kept 53. And I sold all the rest. I told, I sold them for $50. For all, the whole, the whole library. And I told them, no splitting up, you had to take them all. And someone came and took them, so. If you ever are just wanting to get rid of something and don't want to sit there and take the time to individually sell stuff, just sell it as a set. I told the guy, I said, sell them individually if you want to. I just am tired of lugging them around. As much as I love my movies and my DVDs, I did keep all the ones that were special to me. All my favorites, all my Disney movies. So, um, I did keep those. So, I don't believe you should have to get rid of everything that's important to you. Like, I love movies, but with the streaming services um, offering <clears throat> almost anything possible that you could want to watch, that, I mean, the only benefit to having actual DVDs is, like, if your internet's out you have something to watch so um which again I did keep some so I'm not that worried about it <sighs> um but yeah now oh I we got a new dishwasher you'll see that in a future video and um, this must be before the top will before I realized the top was broken or maybe the top was still barely working because I haven't seen myself throwing many dishes back in the sink. But anyway, yeah. They finally just replaced the dishwasher. It took them long enough. I hand washed dishes for the longest time. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> wow. It's crazy to, to... Because it wasn't even that long ago. It was like a week ago for me. <laughs> in real time, I mean... That, that I was still hand washing dishes and just now that dishwasher is gone and we got a new one and I, I guess it works good. I've only done one load of dishes in it and I haven't actually put them away yet so um, I don't know if they did good or not. <laughs> just being real with you guys, you know, I we went away for my niece's graduation came home I was sick as a dog and I still haven't I haven't done any cleaning I haven't unpacked I haven't I have not done crap except for come sit down on this computer and edit this video and that's only because I felt like I had a moment that I could possibly do it <coughs> without <laughs> choking but um Obviously, still talking a lot is probably not going to work, so uh, we'll see how this works in the future because I really do want to stay on top of videos. Um, also, real quick, before I run out of time, I need to know, um, in the future, I will be going back to two days a week. As you've noticed, I've been doing three days a week this month of May. And once I get completely caught up and on real time, I will be doing two days a week. 
would you guys rather have a Monday Wednesday video like it was um, Wednesday Friday video a Monday Friday video or a Tuesday Thursday videos um, just let me know your preferences because I am very accommodating like I said this is a hobby and so I'm very flexible at changing things up um, but I would like to know everyone's preference because I whew, I can't talk <laughs> I would like to get the most engagement with you guys as possible so if I'm posting on days that I know you guys are going to be able to watch that would be more beneficial for me and more beneficial for you if you like to watch my content so anyway that being said guys I do want to thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up um, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one bye Sleep while driving